Greetings, my people. Greetings. Blessed morning, blessed morning, blessed morning, blessed, blessed, blessed Sunday morning to all of my subscribers. Them and all of the people who just have passed through and just have looked on a video and then get hooked to the channel as yet. Big up on yourself and respect and thanks for watching just the same. People, somebody sent me a video and when I saw the video, I was very, very, very much not so happy based on what I've seen in the video. And I know some of you guys might have seen this video or will see this video at some point. But I think it was very rude. I'm going to make you listen to the video and then I'm going to give you my, my little speech and my little talk on it. So, shut up this. Come on, I'm going to be here properly while I go on. You know. Listen, people, listen. No, what are you saying? No, I'm not to do No, man, you can't video. Video it. What you are saying? Video it, Jay. Right, the reason why the mm -hmm. one is, is on the premises. Yeah. And the memories of the two. Mm -hmm. The. Did everything. The member would have seen some suspicious man. Mm -hmm. Seeing this young man mm -hmm. moving to the side of the road. Yeah. Hence, this is my son. Yes. This 17 is, year old. This is the reason for being on my My premises. Yes. No suspicious. What was your suspicion? The what soldier, exactly? The soldier uh -huh. would have seen this man, young man uh -huh. stepped out and moved back in. Are you okay? See them? Wrong person. Exactly. Uh, anyway. Hence, 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 Sergeant. Uh, anyway, my heart will leave my premises. We have, we have, we have no problem. Okay. I'm going on to the beat. No. My children, them. Mm -hmm. Police for 20 years. Mm -hmm. You understand? See the you. Yes. You understand? I don't have no right to my premises. What kind of suspicious move? He might move on with us. No, man. Yeah, well, Sergeant, we don't know who uh, uh, is. Anyway, we don't know who he is now. So, look at us. Go on the merry way. But, but for your police. The public premises are lawful. What may I say? For your police. Alright, Constable. What are your name? Constable what? Constable Dyer. Sorry, excuse me. Come on, what should we do? Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, I miss children right there. They lay that in class. Come on, your police. Thank you. Have a good day. And next time you come here now. Alright, don't walk in from the premises. Hello, Tom. What kind of suspicious thing is this? Let me mind till I'm going to go. Yes, my people. For those of you who haven't heard properly or don't understand what is going on, let me give you a quick rundown of what is going on. Apparently, what has taken place is. Some security forces, police and soldiers, were on their duty, conducting them duty. Now, by the looks of it, I'm passing this particular house, yeah? They saw a suspicious movement. And the suspicious movement that they saw was somebody like a come on one house and pull out. And when the person see them, the person pull back. Now, to me, that is a suspicious move. And police are trained basically to move on proper information and suspicious actions yeah so when the man them see that the man them enter into this property yeah and when they enter into this property the owner of the property which is a police sergeant for 20 odd years as you know hearing set from the thing the officer then come up and they might tell him the reason why them come into the property, yeah? Because of what they say. I wanna hear how the man behave with the police officer them. He must say he must them senior cause he must sergeant or whatever. But to how the man behave, that's not professionalism from a police officer. If you know say police come in at your place, whether you are the governor general or whoever, because of suspicious actions then. Yeah, you know, should I be the bigger and better person? Answer well, officer. Yeah, man, you know, go take a look now. 
and, and so I go on. Because you know a person is say your son not in a nothing illegal. Yeah? Your son don't have nothing to hide around there. Why take for you to tell the man them say when you go take a look? Maybe they look when the man them go look, maybe might save for your life too. Because you never know. Maybe a smuddy run your house back a plan for kill all you and you never know. Maybe somebody round that plan to take your life where the policeman them see, but you never see, and you might feel so your son round there. You know, take nothing and throw them on a style up the man them and I go on with the man them and I tell the man them say when them when them come back next time, them feel dark. Then you want to tell me say when police are go anybody place them, them feel dark because you is no different from a civilian. Then you're just an ordinary person. You understand? But the way I might talk to the squad of them, I say, boy, if I did me, I lose my job that day. That day I will not be a police officer anymore. That day. Because when I march me out of the gate and say, well, if we come out and go out and get outside and rare, rare, rare. When we go outside, me have to cuss him bad. And cuss him the worst week. He could have been sergeant, he could have been lieutenant, he could have been lieutenant, he could have been brigadier, he could have been the commissioner of police. I care zero. But me know say the way all me tan, when me go out the door and go out the game, I cuss him and say, yo, boss, you yeah, say you're sergeant or whatever, me no care. But you know you, you move like you're a criminal. You move like you is a thief. You move like some little careless boy out the road. Because we as your um, junior officer, as we you want to call it, you are a senior. You should have set more example, yeah? Especially in front of your kids, them. The way how oh, you are behave and a go on and a talk. The officer said to the youth, say, when he come in, say, no video. Yeah? Him, when well, I say no, basically, that's say wrong with us still, yeah? But the way he might talk and I talk and I said to the youth, say, yeah, man, we do everything, we do everything and do everything. And at the same time, it looked like he must have did a cook, I mean, you know what I mean, but him approach the officers them with a knife, you know, him, and he have a knife. Me, he might cook, yes, you yeah, cook or whatever, you as a police sergeant, police criminal, yeah, you should have known better. Put on your knife, because you know, so then I'm going to shoot you, because you, you identify yourself as being a police sergeant then. You're one of them. So, not now for you know what, but him, him a chat to the police officer and a wave a knife in her hand. What kind of principle, what kind of manners, what kind of discipline is that for a police officer? Really and truly, in my eye, I think that the commissioner of police or whoever is in charge need to bring this man in and need to discipline him for his conduct and for his behavior to how him deal with the situation. If it was a civilian, in him yard and police come in there, see it where, yeah, you could have said maybe it's a different. But if you have man in the security force, at the head of the security force as well, him should be setting a better, better example. The man made the squad of them feel like they're a dog, man. The man me, me, me feel it for the squad of them, for no say. The man never do them work. The man don't care about who for yard it was there. It's a suspicious move. And the man them entire coffee check out, so that's what they are getting paid for, that's what they do. They are there to protect and serve. And anything will look suspicious, they have to go check it out and see what are going. That's part of their serving and that's part of their protection. You understand what they do for protect people and society. And you as a sergeant or what your name, or say you want to say your name, I have no respect for you. I'm sure say, a lot of people who see this video is gonna say almost the same thing. They don't have no respect. Yes, you have a right to tell them to come out there, yeah, it's a fear yard. But what I say from the professional side of it, as a big police sergeant, you should have come back and deal with the situation much different from how you deal with it. You should have deal with it more principle like with your fellow squad of them. You understand? You could have say, yeah, man, oh, I'm going to do that. Because I have dog going and I don't want him to him or something. I make the man there have a look and have a search. That would have been more respected. But when you are look, in a day, when, you, when you are show the public how you deal with the police, them, as a police, how you expect the civilian them to deal with police any better? If you not set no example, if you is not setting an example as a police officer, a man of the law, yeah? 
and you are telling your son if you video it. It's a good thing. It's a good thing you tell your son if you video it. You might think of something bad, but it is a good job you need to tell your son if you video it because people can see oh some of the police were in the force deal with the little young squad of them were in the force you don't treat them like pig you don't treat them like dog you don't make them look small you don't make them look bad you don't make them look all kind of way because you don't want like a three stripe I want something, I want like a two stripe I want something, I want to have a name back I want to, I want to have 20 odd years service in the thing, you don't feel like say, you know what the man, you don't feel like say, nobody can chat to you, you don't feel like say, nobody can tell you nothing. Not even you know, own fellow officers, them. that is damn rude and that is very much out of order, man. You know, do things like that, man. For me, see the video the first time I've been, I was so pissed at me. So, really? Is so really, so really a police sergeant really a deal with the squad of them, them way there? Because the man has see suspicious movements. Somebody. Somebody run at the house back and when you see them, you see somebody move back. Move that stop and check it out too. You see how that person that moves so that you walk around this up. And the man not even make them go check and look. I must say, oh, I'm a 17 year old son. So because of your son ain't can't be thief. Because of your son ain't can't be criminal. Because of your son ain't can't be one of the most notorious somebody. Because of your son. Eh? Uh, because you know, say, maybe your son probably would have in some wranglings or something, and at that time, you are trying to protect him. So you use up all of your powers now to get the policeman them out of your yard, for them not grow on a back, if you go find the AK, and if you go find the M16, and if you go find the whatever weapon did round there. Because no for only police, man, a dirty police too. I don't have no pity them and no family member them will mix up in all kind of something I want to know but I want to use the powers that be to protect them because of family yeah corruption corruption too much dirty corruption that's why Jamaica is what it is you have one set of the police them want to do them work and do it properly and you have a next set of the police them who don't want to tap them because they might benefit in a some way from all the criminal activities we are going. They might benefit. And now for them policemen out there, take up weapon off of people with them dash way and keep it and have them friends with them gear to go mash works. And when them friends go mash works and come back with the loot, then share and give them for them. No for uno dirty police out there. I leave them where there. No for uno police. Uno dirty, uno, no for uno police out there, uno worse and dirty more than the criminal them. No for uno police out there, how uno dirty up the criminal them. No for uno police out there, how uno turn no youth in a criminal. No for uno, if uno won't benefit, uno turn no for the youth them in a criminal. Uno go up and raid and bust drugs move and get a whole heap of all kind of drugs. And before uno can go a stage and uno find, I want to keep some iPhone for myself and I want to buy them out of the street or to give for sell it. You understand? Some of them even sell it on self. So that's why I found to get caught. You know, see, they want the police and so they get caught with that kind of something. That's what I want to do. I want to in a wranglings. I don't want to wear the uniform and I cover up on self. I want to have police, but I found an old dirty criminal. I say it. And I know me alone I say it, enough people say it too. And it's obvious to make you know, make it look bad. And in a this situation, it could never look any worse. It couldn't look no worse. Police are carrying out their duty, come into your yard and tell you what they see. Before you said to them, say, yeah man, go look and you are go on and make sure say everything alright and rare. Yeah? No, you are roll out the man them out of your yard. Like a something bad them a do. And you know that the man then duty them a do. I bet if a you, Mr. Sergeant, if a you did a lead that squad there, that day, yeah? And you go on different some of the yard. You don't want them for grown, they go search the people in place. And you don't want to go the people in place and you don't knock. But you tell the squad them about next time when they come, they know for knock. How you don't feel? If you know, say, when you take a stock, this is somebody who the squad then see, maybe a one criminal, one of the most wanted this man, run through your backyard and go around your backyard. The next thing you hear is uh, somebody get techno two house or three house from where you live. 
you don't feel good. And what you don't say? You use you him when I say the police say no, nah, do them work because then the day I drive up and down for a morning and yet criminal in a place I run up and down. I saw you that say, you that say all kind of something. You was a nasty piece of work. You, Sergeant Big Belly Boy. You is a nasty piece of work. Me see you. You, you, you see if you have Oliver Samuels. And, you, and you're not good looking like Oliver Samuels neither. Oliver Samuels are better. Big up Oliver Samuels because that's one of my favorite comedians that. We should even put you with Oliver, but you have a shape like him still. I saw me I describe you to your people and you can see the type of person who you is. You is a nasty piece of work and say you is a sergeant. You know, flex good. You know, deal with your squad of them good. And as me say, if it was me as that police officer, we come in the yard and identify you, me I go left the work the same day. Because when we go through, me now stay in your property and cuss you. Me I go go out the road and me I go cuss you. And none of my squad of them I did it can tap me for and cuss. And tell you, what me, I, mean, I, mean, I tell you the worst of things what me I tell you because of your action and your behavior was not professional. Because you move like you're a thief, you move like you're a criminal, you move like somebody who support wrongdoings. You are one of them officer there. People, that's how upset me is. I don't know what say. But me here want to tell some of you on the whole thing. It's bad, man. It's a real bad look. Trust me. Yeah, I'm right.